third experiment is sum of n numbers using for loop so we need to find sum of n integers using for loop where if i give n is equal to 5 you have to find sum of first five integers that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 this you have to do using for loop so how to do it in uh, uh, lab view okay so, so, so close, uh, close the previous one by saving uh, previous program i'm saving as some square Okay, next create project blank vi finish two panels will come front panel and black long panel. So we need to find sum of n numbers. Okay, so for that I want to enter the value of n. So select numeric control, rename it as enter the number n. If n is equal to 5, we need to find some uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. If n is equal to 10, we need to find sum of 10 numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus like that. And we need one indicator to indicate the sum. So enter the number is actually input device where we can control. It's a numeric control. We can control and change the values to, for example, n is equal to 5 or n is equal to 10. And output indicator is you can write sum of n numbers. Is that output? So now we need to use for loop. So right click in the black diagram panel. So first one is actually structures. In the structures, you have for loop, while loop, case structure, event structure, flat sequence, formula node, etc. So select for loop. Then you place like this, drag it, click at the top left side and uh, at the right side down. Suitable length you can select and place here. So you'll get n value here and iteration, loop iteration and this is loop count so right click visible label it will show for loop so next uh, we need to add okay 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus no and for every iteration for loop loop structure is for n is equal to 0 uh, n less than or equal to 10 n plus plus no so for that we need to add the previous value with the new value of the n so for that we require addition so add block you have to select then for every iteration n plus plus so increment should be there so right click numeric increment block so this value of n should be equal to the value of n the n value is this number so this uh, I can change the representation to integer 32. So right click on this orange color, uh, this uh, block representation, you can change it to I32. So it can, all the integers will come in blue color. So some also right click on this, change the representation to integer type. Without that also it will come sometimes if you want integer output only then you have to click integer blue color uh, representation you have to change next we need to very very important step so in the for loop for every iteration we need to save the value of sum so we have to save it in shift register so i have to add shift register so right click on the edge border so you can see this right click on the edge or on the border and there is a add shift register see okay now this one you can place any suitable position 
next one input of this should be connected to the adder input actually it's coming x here all of you observe here this is coming is actually incomplete connection that's why it's coming as uh, uh, incomplete so once you connect all the blocks this will be automatically cleared output of this you connect to here see now it is converted one input you connect to that increment value iteration is it to connect here the i value is connected to the increment from increment value you have to add okay and this output you have to connect to here and here you can right click create numeric constant and by default it is zero only so let it be zero only and you can connect this one to here so either uh, you can create first only right click numeric constant or you can right click at this edge so i'll show that also so here only you can right click create constant automatically it will create okay otherwise you have to right click separately numeric constant this you have to connect here okay so now everything is over so if you want to label right click visible item label right click visible item label okay for this it is not there it is actually loop iteration okay so now we have to execute okay so what is the sum of uh, first two number 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is 3 expected output is 3 so how much we are getting let us see so we are getting 3 if you want continuous run click this sum of one number is 1 sum of two number is 1 plus 2 is 3 sum of 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 sum of four numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 15 so formula for summing finding sum of n number is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so if you want to find sum of 10 numbers n into n plus 1 by 2 so 10 into uh, 10 plus 1 11 divided by 2 so it is going to give 55 so answer is coming as 55 okay so while writing in the record you can write a note a table that n value and sum for one how much you got Two, how much you got? Three, how much you got? You can note down the two values, uh, n value and sum of n uh, n numbers. So you write ten as the input. Output is sum of ten numbers is fifty-five. So like that, you can note down some five five to six numbers, and you can write in the record. So this is uh, finding sum of n number using for loop.